Hey crew, Max von Neumann here. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about the V taper and how to work toward getting it. If you're not sure what the V taper is, it is the shape the body takes on when a person grows their shoulders, widens their back, and shrinks their belly area. Some people may refer to it as the V shape, the inverted triangle, or the inverted pyramid. Whatever you call it, it certainly is the stereotypical indicator of a great physique, and it definitely gives a distinguished look to the person who looks as if they're going to live to be a hundred. So to get us started at Brains to Brawn, we are going to discuss three main points using only diet and dumbbells that will get our crew here at Alien Institute going in the right direction. Okay, so here we go. What are the three points we must focus on to get the V taper? The first of the points we will focus on is the abdominal region or stomach area. Most people just call this area the abs. The stomach area is the toughest to work on because you could do thousands of sit-ups and thousands of leg lifts and it's not going to show if you are carrying way too much weight in the gut. So that means your diet is going to be pretty important. So what are we going to do? Well, we already got a little bit of a start in this video here, Brains the Brawn 2. In that video, we talked about reducing the food in one of your meals by one quarter. So our next step is to reduce another meal by one quarter. The idea here is to move in the direction, the right direction, and not change everything you ever knew overnight. We will eventually get to nutrition strategies, but it's important to get you rolling first. It's like pushing a large boulder. It moves slowly at first, but eventually picks up speed. Just keep in mind that a person needs to be in deficit of approximately 3,500 calories to lose one pound of fat. For example, if you ate a big breakfast, not a McDonald's version, of 800 calories, later had a snack of 300 calories, a lunch for 1,000 calories, dinner for 1,000 calories, and a before bedtime snack of 200 calories, that adds up to 3,300 calories. Then, if you have stabilized your weight, which means you are burning 3,300 calories per day, then you're not gaining or losing weight. So now, by reducing two meals, say breakfast and lunch, and assuming we are keeping the same burn rate, we will burn or be in caloric deficit of 450 calories a day, which translates into approximately four pounds of fat within one month, which is quite a lot for not being that aggressive. Recall, we reduced breakfast from 800 to 600 calories, and lunch went from 1,000 to 750 calories. Of course, weight loss or I should say fat loss is not linear. So adjustments will be made down the road, but just get started because some may need to lose more weight than others to get that meat off the belly. That does it for the first pillar involving the abdominal region. The next region or second point we need to focus on is the back region. There are many muscles on the back but for wideness, to get that V taper, the focus really needs to be with the latissimus dorsi, or lats, 
Terrace Major and Terrace Minor. Since we are only using dumbbells and we want to limit the number of exercises in the beginning, we will hit as much of the back as we can with one exercise, the bent over dumbbell row. So we want to choose a weight that you can row around eight to 12 times. Our overall plan for the back is to do four sets of eight to 12 reps. For terminology such as sets and reps, see Brains to Brawn 2. So I'm going to demonstrate the row with the 20 pound weight. Now choose a weight for you that you can row eight times, 12 times, or somewhere in between. So start with your weight or your dumbbell on the ground. The next thing we need is something to stabilize yourself to protect your back. So I have this post here or you can get a bench or a chair or some sort of table, but get something so you can get yourself stabilized for the row. <clears throat> so we're getting stabilized here to protect our back. And then what we wanna do is a slow controlled row, bringing the weight up to your chest as if there's a string pulling your elbow back and then let the weight down slowly. Up, slowly, down, slowly. Up, slowly, down, slowly. Trying to get your elbow back as far as you possibly can. And then once you've done your eight to 12 reps, you get up and switch sides to do the left side. Now on the left side, you do the exact same thing. You're going up, slowly, down, slowly. Stabilizing the back, good stabilized position. Up, slowly, down, slowly. Up, slowly down slowly don't spend too much time in the down position so after each row what I like to do is to stretch the arm that I was rowing so I just put my hand up over my head and kind of pull my elbow toward my ear and feel like a little bit of a stretch in the lat area the other thing is after you row the right side and then switch over and row the left side, take about a minute to two minute rest and then get back at the right side, row that your eight to 12 times and then get back over to the left side, row that eight to 12 times. And then in between each set, take about a one to two minute rest. Now, when you're all done with the rows, you will have rowed four sets on the right side and you will have rowed four sets on the left side. Okay, the last point we need to work toward that V taper is the shoulders or deltoids, especially the medial deltoids. The delts are broken into three parts, but since we're going to limit the number of exercises in the beginning, we will definitely focus on the middle part of the shoulder that will cause our physique to expand sideways and upward. So our next exercise to hit the shoulder muscles is going to be the standing dumbbell press. What you wanna do is pop the dumbbells up to where your shoulders are and then get them into a nice L shape like this. So your elbows are out to the sides and then you're going to slowly Press overhead and then slowly bring down. Don't stay up too long. Slowly press overhead and then slowly bring down. We're gonna do that for four sets 
and each set is going to be eight repetitions. That means you're going up and down eight times, or eight to 12 times, I should say. So, and that's gonna be four sets of that. So between each set, you're going to take about a minute to two minute rest, depending on how much rest you think you need. So do one set of eight to 12, rest, do another set of eight to 12, rest until you've done four of those types of exercise, which is the standing dumbbell press. The next and final exercise will be the lateral raises. So the lateral raises are great for creating that width and those shoulders that start to develop to look like cannonballs. So the way you do this exercise is you pick up your, your dumbbells, the ones that you feel you can do eight to 12 times, and you get them out to your sides and then slowly raise and then bring them down. Raise, bring them down. Keep the tension in the down position. Make sure that the muscle is not resting down there. It still feels pressure on it. And you keep raising and lowering. Raising and lowering. Raising and lowering. Now, after you do it to eight to 12 times and you can't do any more, bring the weights out to the front and let your let the tension off your shoulders get a little bit of a quick rest get about three breaths one two three and then redo like as many as you can possibly do sometimes you might not even be able to do one maybe you can do two or three but you do as many as you can and then get it out in front of you again take three quick breaths again and then Try to do as many as you can again. And that will end the set. So there's three parts to your one set. You're gonna do eight to 12, and then you're gonna do a quick rest, and then you're gonna do two or three, and then you're gonna do another quick rest, and then you're gonna do two or three. Now, if you can't get two or three with the weight you have, you might wanna reach down and, and grab a lighter set of dumbbells to get an extra two or three out. Now that concludes the one set. So now take about a minute to two minute rest, depending on what you need. And then you're gonna do three more of those for a total of four sets. Now, as I did with the lats, how I wanted to really stretch them out and get a good stretch on them. The same thing with the shoulders. What you wanna do is you wanna Get your hands back on the lower part of your back and then pull your elbows in and then kind of pull your shoulders back. And what you'll do is you'll feel a little bit of a stretch here, stretch here. You'll, you'll feel that stretching in there. You want to make sure you get a little bit of a stretch each time between each set. So now we have covered everything we need to get us rolling in the right direction. To recap, reduce two meals by one quarter. Do four sets of bent over dumbbell rows on each side. Do four sets of standing overhead dumbbell presses. And finally, do four sets of monster lateral raises. Do these on every fourth day. Stay focused on the process, and over time, with Alien Institute, you will see yourself with brains and brawn. Okay, Alien Institute crew, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also continue, continue learning by, by watching, watching more, more AI, AI videos. videos.